Hello everyone, this is Subhanil. In today's session, we will discuss about uh, injecting dependency in service in AngularJS. <coughs> so, in today's program, what I am going to do, I am going to uh, create a service uh, known as Calc service and which will calculate actually do mathematical calculation one addition and another uh, multiplication and I will show both uh, two of these uh, here the first one is a demo you can see this uh, for addition so when I am adding two numbers it is giving me the result of 90 so it's, uh, it will be something like this I will again change and show you the multiplication also and what I am going to do uh, I will first create the service and create uh, uh, a function in the service and later on <coughs> inject the dependency into the uh, into a controller where from where it will uh, the service will be called which will return the value and which value will be respectively uh, displayed in the estimate <coughs> estimate section so let us start with your program and uh, this is my I've just uh, already created the basic structure which have HTML head and title and uh, sorry injecting dependency services so first of what I'm going to do the see I've already included the angular.main.js API and this is, you know this is a compressed version of the uh, angular.js and you now I'm just write the script I'm not taking uh, using any separate <coughs> script, uh, angular uh, separate uh, script file js file and just including in the head section first I will declare the app Uh, the module will be declared angular type module this is empty and then I will just create a service I will call it calc service and this will contain a function It's a callback function. And within this, I'll just create these two functions. One is add which will return sorry. There's a problem with the addition uh, in the in JavaScript and so here I will just pass to parameter A and B and there's a problem what happens in JavaScript when you add two numbers they actually get concatenated so you need to just use the passing to convert it to a, an integer so that it, uh, it does not get concatenated and then get the integer addition result and the next one is this dot multiply okay. let us copy this one uh, in multiplication I don't think I require this one I can just remove this percent you can also keep it it doesn't matter so we are considering that we are working only with integer value and not float uh, value. So if you think you will just uh, it's use float value, you can just convert it to pass float. So I'm with the service and 
now I'll just add the controller which will actually help and the user interaction. And within this, what I will do, we will use a scope and that service. Okay. So in this, what we will do, we will use the say result log. We will actually use, uh, we can use two uh, separate, no, let us just do the addition first. There's result log and we will just call the service, that service dot add and we will pass scope dot first num. We uh, consider this uh, the variable first num and second num. Uh, we assume that uh, they are already existing there, though we will be uh, uh, declare them later on. Okay, we will use them later on as HTML element, which will actually hold the ng model as first num and second num and result num. Okay, so this is my controller section, and I have just done with this now let us move to, to the body section first we will create a level okay and uh, first number uh, then input type text name First one, and obviously, ng model. First one, and value equal to blank. So, next the second, let us put a break here. The second number and the second number text make it second okay let us put another text here now input type button and uh, add number ng take now here we will just uh, okay let us do one thing uh, I just missed out one thing in my in my controller I will just use one function scale dot add numbers equal to function let's change this out uh, just list down this this out okay so add numbers so this add numbers function will be we will just call this here okay uh, if you have if we have not used this button actually not plan to use this button but uh, for the user interaction I just uh, change my mind to use this button or otherwise I told, thought that I'll just show this in our uh, when the body will load and just uh, use the button event so I've used the function which will be called in the button event add numbers okay so this is called and Again, adding a PR and then span inside this, we just use 
the result. So if you are little familiar with Angular JS, you know that this scope dot add numbers sorry, this scope dot result norm, this uh, scope dot first norm, this second norm, and result norm. This all three are three are views in our HTML section. So and um, for the first two we have just included in the in the model. So what we will type in our input uh, text. So we can we just uh, in the come in the scope of this controller. Okay, so just add this two section in the controller main CTRL and HTML in the add equal to APP and body uh, body is done and uh, okay, no, everything is done. Okay, so I think I'm uh, done with this. Uh, Nothing should be left out, but let us run the program and see. Yes. Okay, just uh, let us give one text here. Result value. Okay, refresh it. Now let us put. 1933 add numbers 32. Okay, so 2943 add number 32. So uh, now we will just make a little bit of change. Okay, so what we will do, we will just uh, create another function that is multiply numbers. Result now we get this multiply. Okay, we we'll just use the function for the service. Okay, so we need to change only the controller section, uh, which is actually handling the user interaction and pass uh, everything is set and just call the multiply numbers here. And result value is here and put a second number and value will be multiplied. Okay. So let us move out and nine okay, so twelve into fourteen one sixty eight. 12 into 12 equal to 34. Yes. Okay. So you can see what we have done. We have just uh, created a dependency in the controller with the services we have created. Okay, so this is a small program about uh, how to uh, create a service in AngularJS and creating dependency services, dependency of service in the controller. You can also, in the, my later video, I will come with multiple services, creating multiple services and creating uh, dependency of one service and another, another service. Okay. So this is all about this video. Okay. And I hope you understand and like this video. And do comment on my section. And if you like the video, do like the Press the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel. That is a subscription channel. Online services. Thank you very much.